What is going on guys? My name is Energy Pants and today I am here to bring you guys a really fun deck list that I have made. One deck that uh, I have been kind of wanting to get to work for a while and I'm sure a lot of you also enjoy from time to time is a good old Pachirisu Honchkrow tool drop deck. It's just really fun to attach four tools to Honchkrow V and swing for huge damage uh, and I think this deck actually got a lot better with the new Pokemon Go expansion with the likes of Pokestop being able to discard the top three cards from your deck and get you uh, any tool cards. So that's really cool. Uh, you're able to run a lot of tool cards, you're able to thin through the deck a lot faster. I'm running some recovery cards here to kind of mitigate the Pokestop, discarding some key resources. Um, and I'm going to kind of explain that very briefly uh, what this deck is does and how it operates and you guys will see I got a really good gameplay in this game to kind of show you guys but the gist of the deck is we use Pachi Risu's wind up thunder ability 30 damage for each Pokemon tool card attached to all of your Pokemon this in conjunction with Honchkrow V which can have four Pokemon tool cards attached to it as well as the Oranguru V which lets you as long as this is in the active spot search your deck for up to two Pokemon tool cards reveal them and put them into your hand now this is really cool because in the early game on turn one uh, I did you want to get the Oranguru V out, you want to search for Air Balloon and another tool card. Turn two, you can search for two more tool cards and then retreat the Oranguru, as well as you can use the Oranguru as a pivot card where once your Pachirisu gets knocked out, you can promote the Oranguru, back order for an Air Balloon and another tool card, retreat into your attacker that you probably dynamoed or two with the Flaffy and go from there. So that's kind of the gist of the deck in essence is that you're using that as well as the new Pokestop ability. You are running a one-off pal pad to be able to recover any supporter cards discarded from your Pokestop. You're running the two of rescue carrier to be able to recover the Pokemon discarded from the Pokestop. And you are running the Ditto to be able to capitalize off of Pachirisu's dying or Pachirisu's being discarded off the Pokestop. So, you know, the tool card lineup, three air balloons, because getting an air balloon onto your Oranguru is super important, as well as everything else to retreat because you are running Flaffy. You want to be able to bench Pachirisu and retreat. You're running 2 Cape of Toughness to protect your Haunch Crows, to protect your Crobat and you're not really protecting your Oranguru ever because your Oranguru is most likely going to want an air balloon attached to it. But, you know, you're running that to attach two to make a 300 HP Honchkrow very hard to KO. Three choice belts for extra damage onto your Pachirisu and two lucky egg to draw to seven uh, because this deck does play out its hand a lot because most of the time your hand is just tool cards. We're also running a 2-2 B-Barrel line because a lot of the times, like I said, you're going to pokey stop, you're going to draw ultra balls, you're going to draw level balls, you're going to draw tool cards, you're going to play all those cards onto your bench and then you're going to be able to want to industrious incisors for lots of cards. Energy lineup, obviously we've got to one capture energy to be able to set up in the early game. Three Speed Lightning to be able to draw cards off your Pachirisu. You really want to take advantage of the Speed Lightning. And six Lightning Energy because missing energy drops with this deck absolutely sucks. Um, because in a lot of turns you're going to need to manually attach plus Flaffy. Just by the way the deck works. You're like a single prize attacker. Your attackers get knocked out every turn. And yeah, so that's basically the gist of the deck. You guys are going to see it in action. I got a really fun game lined up for you guys towards the end. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this new updated tool drop deck list featuring Pachi Risu, the new Pokemon Go Ditto, and the new Pokestop Stadium, which I find super duper fun. This list is actually a lot more consistent than ever before and uh really really fun list to give a try if you guys have the cards necessary super pretty cheap deck list um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed if you did tell me what you guys think about the deck in the comment section down below leave a like and hit that sub button it is always appreciated love you guys hope you enjoyed hit the sub button see you guys next time later here we go where uh we lose the coin flip but our opponent is gonna allow us to go first so that's a very interesting kind of like that's a very interesting um, <laughs> uh, choice there. Not many decks want to go second in this format, but our opponent seems to be playing some sort of grass deck. There is the Venusaur V. So, our objective here, I believe, is going to be to kind of like get energy attachments onto our Pachirisu. Gonna see if Crobat's in the deck. Crobat is in the deck. Really just looking for that energy attachment onto the Pachirisu. So I'm kind of just looking for energy here, plus a sort of ball car, which we do fine. 
Rescue carrier for nothing. Two researches and a Mareep. Let's go ahead and put the boss's orders back in the deck. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves the Pachirisu. This is kind of where the, the Pow Pow will come in handy later on in the game. We're going to draw two cards. We're going to quick ball away the Ultra Ball, I believe. It's our best bet. We're the Guru. This is going to get us the most damage. We're going to do back order for... Don't need balloon, I need cape and choice belt. And we'll just rescue carrier for this Marie back. So next turn we have an empty hand, but we should be taking a KO onto this Venusaur V next turn. Could have played this a lot differently, I think. Could have prioritized maybe keeping the Ultra Ball and kind of playing towards a B-Barrel heavy line, but I really wanted to play more towards lots of tool cards. There's the Arceus for my opponent, so we can hopefully KO the Arceus next turn with one, two, three, four, five. Five times three is 150. <laughs> so we're not even coming close, but our opponent is going to Marnie us. So we're just hoping we find the energy now. If we do find the energy, as well as a belt, so another tool card, as well as a level ball to be able to kind of like get our Bidoof into play, hopefully next turn, as well as hopefully get into another Pachirisu on the bench, maybe, among other things. So our opponent is going to be playing Arceus plus Venusaur V, which is actually really cool. I'd love to try this out myself maybe in the future, just because Venusaur VMAX seems really fun. Uh, he's going to Pokestop himself and find an Ultra Ball, as well as discarding a Marnie. Super cool. So our opponent does have access to Ultra Ball next turn. We know this, so Arceus V-Star is on the docket. But I think most of our stuff is pretty well protected. Except for the Oranguru. The Oranguru is really the only thing I'm worried about, which is always the fear with this deck. Is like your Oranguru is like, you really want a, you know, you really obviously want a balloon on these. So you can kind of like use it as a pivot next turn to be able to get your tool cards. Be able to attach to your mods next turn. So you really don't ever want a cape on this because you want to pivot with it. But that also leaves it susceptible to Arceus. Um, yeah, belt, DTE, all that jazz. Lithion V is really cool as well. Being able to accelerate energy with the greening cells ability, putting one energy from your deck onto your Pokemon, thus ending your turn. He is going to bump my stop, which I actually have another stop, so I can actually maybe even take advantage of the training core before I get rid of it and replace it with a Poke Stop. So we'll see how this goes. He's going to activate the greening cells ability. Hopefully, we will be able to take a knockout here. I think we will with the belt in hand as well as other cards. He's going to greening cells to his Arceus. So we are going to play the stop ourselves. We're going to attach the energy first. We're going to get this. We're going to guru back order to grab ourselves lucky egg and air balloon. We're going to attach the air balloon to the Flaffy and the Lucky Egg to the Honchcrow. I think the key here is to level ball for a Bidoof and see if we can't Poke Stop into at some point the Ultra Ball, which we do find, as well as getting a Choice Belt. So we're going to be able to attach the Choice Belt to the Bidoof. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times three is 240. That is the knockout. And yeah, we're just gonna go for the knockout here. Wind up Thunder 
Taking the KO on the Venusaur, 270 damage, taking two prize cards. You do get the Speed Lightning Energy, which is perfect, as well as the Pow Pad to put back in these researches. We Pokey stopped last turn. So our opponent is more than likely going to be able to get off the, what's it called? The good old thingy. But I don't think our opponent is going to be able to reach 250 damage to KO the Honchkrow. He's going to need the Choice Belt to reach damage to KO my Crobat to take two prizes if he even decides to boss something. But I think we're looking at a immaculate position here. Our opponent does have access to, like like I said, boss's orders. They would boss up one of our liabilities on the bench, being the Crobat. But he's gonna need Belt to carry the Crobat. I believe Honchkrow is out of range, and our Guru is really the only thing in immediate danger. I don't like our Guru getting bossed here, but it is what it is. We pulled almost every tool card we possibly could out of the deck, so. You know, that's very good for us. He's going to Starbirth for two cards. And it is going to be the Leafeon V Max, not the V Star, which I was kind of worried about, that being the boss's orders. But there is the Venusaur V in play, as well as he has one card left in hand. And I would imagine this might be a research. Otherwise, our opponent has left himself in a very precarious position with one card in hand being dead and no draw support. And there is the KO. or there, Not the KO, but there is the Concede. So... Yeah, just really put our opponent in a bad position with the KO on the Venusaur on turn two, uh, as well as just having a really, really good board state for the following turn. So that's really cool. All right, so we're going to lose the coin flip, and hopefully our opponent is going to choose to go second, which they do. I'm really surprised by that, actually. So we're going to get a mulligan here. And um, sorry about that. Uh, we're going to get a mulligan here. We're hopefully going to get, like, you know, a really good hand if we're going first. Um, I mean, it's not too terribly bad, but... It is Mewtwo V Union, so we're actually going to put the Honchkrow in the active here. Hopefully going to find an Air Balloon, but our Honchkrow is a 1 energy cost retreater, so if we do find something that will help us next turn, that's going to be really good. Our opponent is also still taking Mulligans, which is really nice. He does take one more Mulligan. And yeah, not. I don't think this matchup is going to be too bad for us. Uh, we're going to have to get a lot of um, tools, capes on our Honchkrow. That's going to kind of be like the big thing here. We're just going to... Yeah, the sequencing here is going to be what's really important. Obviously, getting a hot, getting a Pachi Risu down is going to be really good. I think we're just going to Poke Stop first, however, and then just see if we can't find a level ball and go from there. We are going to draw a card and get the Raihan, so we have two boss targets. Let's just bench the Bidoof. Let's just go straight for the Poke Stop. Let's Poke Stop it up. We get two item cards, so that's looking pretty cool. We are just going to go here. We're going to ditch this and this. We're going to grab ourselves. See if the Crobat's in the deck. The Crobat is in the deck. We're going to get the Pachi Risu. And we're kind of going to be just be like hard looking for an air balloon as well as a quick ball. There's a Cape of Toughness. Let's go Pow Pad. If we Ultra Ball away, Ultra Ball and this, we can grab ourselves Guru. Put these two back in the deck. We can do this here. Go for the Guru. So we'll set ourselves up for hopefully a potential Flaffy next turn as well. Let's get the Guru down. We're going to Guru Bat. And the sequencing is not looking too bad turn one for our draws. Still hopefully trying to find that Air Balloon. We do not find the Air Balloon. But we do find a Quick Ball. Actually, we're going to Level Ball for the Flaffy here. Or rather, the Mareep. And yeah, I think we're not looking too terribly bad from this position. We're going to attach the Lucky Egg onto the Honchkrow in case this dies. And yeah. Although I don't think Soul Rock Lunatone can hit 250 damage on turn 2. It is going to make our Honchkrow kind of like a boss target later on, but this is going to be kind of a single prize matchup. And he just discards uh, Psychic and Soul Rock and Lunatone. He's going to be able to Rescue Carrier back those two cards, which kind of sucks, but it's really going to be kind of a War of Attrition here, but I think we're going to be able to get the first attack off, and our opponent is going to be able to kill our liabilities, worst case scenario for us. So we're kind of going to be in a race here to, you know, basically just like outpace my opponent. He's going to get two Psychics in the discard for a grand total of a three. Which is not good, but if our opponent does manage to KO our Honchkrow V, we should be able to take a return KO pretty easily. 
But that's not really the kind of main concern. There is the necessary energy to be able to moon kinesis this turn, which kind of blows, but we're going to kind of see where my opponent goes from here. He does have his hand consists of two more cards and another lunatone we know for sure. He's just going to go for the straight up moon kinesis, so our play here is hopefully going to be to try and find ourselves the air balloon to be able to switch out. Boss's orders does mean no good. We are going to quick ball the boss and fail it. Actually, I think we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a Bidoof here, and then we're going to Poke Stop, and hopefully we can find an Ultra Ball. We're already down three Ultra Balls, so the chances of that are very unlikely. We do find Rescue Carrier plus Lucky Egg. So we are going to play the Lucky Egg down onto this. We are going to go here. Uh, I don't really see a need to do anything else. We can level ball next turn, and we're just going to go for the Wind Up Thunder. 120 damage to take a prize card. If our opponent either KOs Apache Risu or a Honchkrow, we're going to draw to 7, which is going to be nice. We know our opponent has a Lunatone in hand uh, to be able to with the uh, Scoo of Nets, but we're just going to hope our opponent like can't keep up, basically. I think we have the resources to be able to keep up at least for a little bit and put on the pressure at least for a little bit. There is a Ultra Ball and two level balls. The Boca Stop is kind of helping our opponent a pretty decent amount, but like I said, just hopefully we're just going to kind of play this in a way that we can outpace our opponent. And our opponent can't really take advantage of our liabilities, or at least by the time they do, we have already been so far ahead. So we're also really hoping he plays down that Lunatone, that would be, or that not the Lunatone, but the Mewtwo, because we did see the Mewtwo as a mulligan. So he's going to level ball here for another Lunatone, which is interesting. And level ball here again for probably a soul rock which he does grab the soul rock probably going to bench so he's just he's just gonna full-on go for that lunatone train but hopefully our opponent misses the ko here he does need scoob net or some kind of switch in order to be able to attack with his lunatone and again we're just kind of hoping to outpace our opponent here and be able to kind of take these knockouts in a way that having these liabilities on the bench is not a detriment to us. That's going to kind of be the game plan here moving forward. There is the school of net, so our opponent is going to be able to take a KO here. But we're just kind of hoping our opponent can keep this up. Obviously he has the other Lunatone on the bench. Um, so he can take a KO next turn. So like I said, we're just going to have to like pace this out basically and just, you know, have a knockout for every single subsequent turn. So we're going to go ahead and go for the Oranguru here. The Oranguru is going to get us some tool drops. We are going to level ball here for the next Pachirisu. We are going to have to Raihan here. We are going to back order for Air Balloon plus Cape of Toughness. We are going to air balloon onto the Oranguru. We're going to go for the Dynamotor onto the Pachirisu. We are going to ride onto the Pachirisu, grab ourselves. Don't really need anything per se. I'm going to grab an energy attachment for next turn, I think is the best play, because we don't really need anything else. Debating whether where to attach the cape. I think we attach the cape to here. Could be a mistake, but it also could be very good. We're going to attach the choice belt here. Go for the pokey stop to kind of see if we can grab some more tools. Energy in the discard pile is not the best, but it will be okay. We're going to retreat and subsequently go for the wind up thunder for 180 damage and taking another knockout. And we are going to actually manage to pick ourselves a B barrel, which is going to be pretty huge in the late game, maybe. Um, so our opponent is going to be able to attack with the Lunatone, but our opponent will be down three Lunatones after this one is gone. And we did actually attach this because our opponent is only going to be able to do like around one, one, thirty times. Our opponent is only going to be able to do around the one twenty mark. Um, so we really wanted to get our Honchkrow out, force him to have a lot of cards to be able to boss up this Honchkrow. 
or boss up any of my things to take a one to KO. And then hopefully we're just going to be able to switch out after that fact. So he's going to be playing some cards here. He's going to quick ball away this, go for his last Lunatone. Our opponent is down one Rescue Stretcher, not two. And yeah, so we're going to hopefully bank on us having lots of attackers. And here he goes. He is Moon Kinesising to his Lunatone. <clears throat> we're going to see what else he has next. He's going to straight up go for the Moon Kinesis. So now again, the onus is on us to line up an attacker, which we have done. We're going to go for the Oranguru here. We're going to go for the Level Ball to grab ourselves out a Pachi Risu. We are going to bench the Pachi Risu, attach the Speed Lighting Energy to draw two cards, Dynamotor to the Pachi Risu. Go here. We're going to use the back order to grab ourselves Air Balloon and Choice Belt. The Air Balloon will go onto the B Barrel this time. You don't really see the need to Pokey Stop at this stage of the game. We're going to retreat into the Pachi Risu. And the sucky thing is, however, here is we have to find energy next turn. So. I think we have to worry about that next turn. Our opponent also has to keep lining up attackers. I don't really want to discard any more energy. We really just need an energy. There's the energy, which is perfect. All I need is like an energy every single turn. We are still winning the prize race, but our opponent is a boss away from kind of taking the lead in the prize race, which does certainly not bode well for us. So here comes the Moon Kinesis for the Sun Energy. We're just keeping our opponent here basically from being able to build up a big enough Lunatone to be able to KO anything on our bench with a boss KO, as well as the fact that we were able to just keep building up attackers. But sadly, we we're going to reach a point where we don't have much energy left in our deck um, to be able to do it without a Raihan. So I think we're going to kind of look for a Raihan in the future. We should have at least another Pound Pad in the deck to be able to Raihan. I believe we're running two Raihans in this deck. I could be wrong. Here come the Trekking Shoes. He's going to keep the card he drew off the top. Trekking Shoes again. To discard the Scoob Up Net, which is very interesting. But I guess he doesn't need it at the stage. But I feel like Scoob Up Net is the only thing that's going to get him to a range where he can KO one of my Vs. But there is the Mewtwo V. Um which we can actually just outright KO this turn and I think be in a fine position. So there's the Moon Kinesis. I think we are just going to go ahead and give ourselves the guaranteed KO onto this while we still have the capabilities to do so. We are going to go for the... I think we're just going to go for the Ditto here. No, actually, we're going to go for... We're going to quick ball away the Pokey Stop just to see if there is any more Pachi Reese's in the deck, which we do have. We're just going to draw out our deck as much as possible here. Go for the Pachi Risu, Go for the energy. We're just looking to kind of draw energy or Raihan, which is perfect. Dynamotor to the Pachi Risu. Attach the Choice Spell to the Pachi Risu. Back order for our last Choice Spell. We're not looking to KO any more Vs from this point forward, so we're okay with attaching the Choice Belt. To the Flaffy, we are going to retreat to the Pachi Risu, boss up the Mewtwo, and go for the Wind Up Thunder onto the Mewtwo, taking two prizes. And now all we need to do is line up a KO next turn on a one prize, and we're good to go. We have the energy in hand. Everything is looking good. We have the Rescue Carriers. We have the Ditto to be able to get that attacker going. And I think that is looking like the game here. My opponent being forced to bench that Mewtwo in order to take a KO. There is the Moon Kinesis, and we are just going to be able to, uh, you know, Dynamo to our Flaffy and win the game. Promote our Guru, bench the Ditto, go for the Energy, Dynamo to the Ditto, retreat and take the final KO with the Wind Up Thunder Ditto, and we take the dub with the 240 damage swing onto the Lunatone. Really good stuff and uh, fun game there. <laughs> really showcasing like the, the synergies with the deck and the fun stuff you can do.